Hey guys, John here from eTrailer.com. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Yakima Fullback trunk mount bike rack on our 2020 Audi Q7. This is a great way to get our bikes to our favorite destination without installing a hitch on our vehicle or installing a roof rack and having to lift it up on top of our vehicle. This is the two bike version and it has a weight capacity of two bikes at 35 pounds each. It also comes in a three bike version as well and that has a max weight capacity of 90 pounds. The fullback secures our bikes at three locations. We have two zip strips up top and then a zip strip here on the main mast. And this acts as an anti-sway cradle, just helps limit the movement of our bikes so that they don't come in contact with each other or the vehicle as much as they would without it. To remove our bike, we press these buttons to release the zip strips. And then before we take our bike off, I recommend putting these in a safe place. That our bike's installed, there doesn't really need to have these on the bike rack, so I recommend putting them in the glove box so we don't lose them later. With the zip strips removed, simply lift our bike off and go set it wherever we're gonna store it or get ready to ride. Our cradles have a nice rubber coating here, which helps to protect our bike frame. And there are some grooves here as well, and that's helped to protect our cables on our bike. The anti-sway cradle can actually fold up, which is really useful, especially for the one up front, because then it's easier to load our bike on and off. Here at the ends of our arms, we have two different features that Yakima is known for. One is an integrated cable lock, which we pull out and we will wrap around the frame of our bike in this position, and then it just locks on itself there. And then over on this side, we have the Yakima bottle opener, which is just something that they are well known for, and they try to integrate in all their products. One thing I would like to mention is that you might need an adapter bar, depending on what kind of bike you have. So for maybe a smaller kid's bike or a bike with a step through frame or something that doesn't have a whole lot of space in it, the adapter bar attaches between our handlebars and our seat posts and allows us to install the bike on the bike rack. Let's get a few measurements to see how this interacts with our vehicle specifically. From the rearmost part of the bumper to the outside of this arm measures about 27 inches. However, we are able to rotate the arms down to reduce the amount of length we're adding to our vehicle. Let's show you how to do that. So there's three dials here. We're going to use the two gray ones to rotate our arms down. So if we rotate the dial up, we swing our arm down, repeat the same process for the other side. With our arms rotated down, that is going to reduce our overall length down to or about seven inches. So it takes about 20 inches off of the rear of our vehicle. This makes it nice for pulling into our garage or maybe a smaller parking space. So we don't have to remove the rack if we didn't plan on doing it that day. To install the bike rack, we have two straps up top and two straps down below. And the hooks will be labeled top and bottom. So for this application, we're going to use these hooks in a different manner. Normally we will take this and just slide it over the hatch and that's how it secures. But instead for this install, what we need to do is use the anchor mode position. And all that really is, is we flip the hook around and then we're gonna run our strap through this opening. Pull it all the way through. And now we just drop this inside of our hatch and then it's gonna pull tight whenever we install our bike rack. So this is the bottom one, this is gonna go through the bottom. The one labeled top, that's when we're gonna drop down through the top part of our hatch. And so, since we don't have enough room for the hook, this is gonna just pull against our hatch door and secure our bike rack. So these two dials here are used to adjust our arms up and down. The center dial here is used to adjust this bracket piece. It has foam pieces that lean up against our windshield for some upper support. And this is called a fit dial and we're going to refer to our instructions to see exactly where we need to set this. Just a few things to note, with any trunk mount bike rack, we aren't able to utilize our rear wiper and that's simply because it's going to hit our bike rack. So it's gonna hurt our bike rack and it's gonna hurt our rear wiper. 
It's also important to note that we should never open up our rear hatch with the bike rack installed. We need to remove the bike rack before we do anything with our rear hatch door. So that's going to conclude our look at the Yakima Fullback bike rack on our 2020 Audi Q7. Thanks for watching.